Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a special repair. So this is a nice Lenovo Yoga, yeah, i5 agent. What's happened with this laptop is the customer swapped the motherboard, and now he has a dead laptop and a non-working motherboard. So let's have a look together. These jobs come from a local repair shop. So the motherboard from the laptop is the new one. And this one is his old motherboard. I'm also curious why his motherboard died. And what's the problem with the new one? Why the new one died? So that's his old motherboard. And for me, it's looking fine. Huh? What about you? I mean, figure it out why this motherboard died. I mean, maybe we are, maybe we can fix it. We can fix it, we can keep it here and sell it on eBay. And we tell the customer, we throw it on the bin. <laughs> so you have the multimeter on screen, great. Let's check the coils, I'm curious why this board died, 14 ohms. That's fine. 11 fine I remember I had a job with this motherboard and uh, if you remember is the one I tried to swap the CPU and if you remember was was a shorter chipset on this coil yeah and no it's fine 44 ohms yeah that's fine here, 100 ohms, good. Here, here is fine. And here, is fine. So why this motherboard died? Main power L? Main power L has two ohms. You can see there, two ohms. Huh? Yeah. So uh, what do you think? Hmm? I mean, if we can fix the old board, uh, that would be great, right? I mean, we can swap the board on the, on the inside of the laptop and it's fine. So let's lower the voltage to 0 0.8. A little bit of current. Let's get a thermal camera. And let's see what is shorted. I mean, this, this is, you know, this is not a gaming motherboard. So actually, even if we have a shorted MOSFET, it's a very high chance actually just replacing by the MOSFET, the board will still work. So we have ground, we have 0 0.08 and here is 0 0.02, okay, so here is the plus. It's taking 700 milliamps and it's getting hot what? What is getting hot there? The chip or something on this side of the board. One second, one second, one second. Yeah, and check that, check that, check that, check that. What is that? You know what, the customer can be sorry, can be sorry. I believe here is a capacitor. That's what I believe. I believe it's a capacitor. Let's go under the microscope. I think the customer can be sorry. You see, this is a reason why if you have a problem with your car to go to a mechanic, yeah? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, okay, check that, check that, check that, check that. So what do you think about that capacitor? You can see, I mean, not only one, why, wait, wait. Are like two capacitors, which I see them, they are dodgy. You can see them? Let's get the multimeter. I mean, clearly, zero ohms. And this one is good. No, it's, it, but you know, it looks like a mechanical damage. So check here. I mean, it looks like a mechanical damage. Look, check on the capacitor. 
Wow. Okay, let's remove the capacitor quickly. Replacing the capacitors. No capacitors, no problems. <laughs> Uh, let's remove them. I mean, wait, 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 we are working for nothing. One, one second. What about if we are fixing this board and the other board? Who's gonna pay for that? The customer, you will pay only from for one board repair. Yeah, the board is sucking the heat badly. Something happened, but for me it looks like a like a mechanical damage. I mean, possible the, the customer smashed the keyboard and that's how those capacitors go damaged. Let's check the let's check the power rail. And it's not short anymore. You can see on the screen, no short. So I believe, but that's, you know, that's what I believe. I believe this board is fixed. Go, let's plug a charger and check the board. So plug in the charger. Yeah, the CPU is getting hot. Everything is fine. You see, 1.2 amps. This board is good. This board is good. I will leave this board on one side. Let's check the laptop. Okay, so this is the new board. Yeah, let's check the main power rail here on the back of the laptop, on the back of the board. No, no, wait, wait, wait. So it's with this part up. That's mean the laptop was smashed from the back. And you know, it looks like, like a little bit, if you look. So probably here, you know, you can actually probably damage the capacitors from the, from the board. I believe that's what happened with the, with the other board. So let's check for short, same capacitors. No. Short. No, this is impossible. How can be two motherboards with the same fault? What are the odds? I mean, don't get me wrong. This job was booked in today. Look at the time and then the hour. Like, I will tell you how long. Two hours ago. Two hours ago. <laughs> That's crazy. But do you think it's the same fault? Let's have a look on the back of the motherboard. Do you think are the same capacitors? No way. No way. So check that. That's mechanical damage. I mean, what could happen? Check here. This is mechanical. You can see the capacitor was pressed. Was I don't know, pushed down or something. Check here. Check here. And this one the same. Oh wait, no. The back cover is like that. I mean, yeah, indeed you can see the components are printed on this one. Yeah, so indeed. Yeah, yeah, indeed, that's what happened. You see how the components got printed on the back cover? So what we replace, what we replace was this capacitor. I mean, we replace, we remove, sorry, this capacitor and this capacitor. Plug the charger. And I can see it's coming on. I can see the backlight on the keyboard. The voltage is right, the current is right. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. Let's wait for restart. They they messed this up. They got it wrong. They got it wrong. You know why it's asking for the bitlock uh, bitlock recovery key? 
or wait? Huh, not sure. No, no, no. So the customer feed the board, yeah? Feed this board. And the laptop work. He put a bit, uh, bit locker uh, key. He used the laptop. Then he smashed the back cover. The board got shorted. And what he did... And yeah, the board, board got shorted. Now we saw the board, the original board. And the Windows it will ask you again for for the recovery key. So every time you swap the board, it will ask you for the BitLocker recovery key. I will put the screws all back together. I will uh, stop here. I will not keep you anymore. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Like all this, and see you on the next one. Bye.